students even sold these no code projects for thousands of dollars uh, basically i want to share this knowledge of no code and make you understand that how can you even build products apps uh, and also utility sort of uh, software digital products without having to know to code hey folks welcome back to this video and in this video we are going to talk about everything no code so i myself have been personally building a lot of no code apps for the last 2 3 years i've used like n number of tools even sold these no code projects for thousands of dollars uh basically i want to share this knowledge of no code and make you understand that how can you even build products apps uh and also utility sort of uh software digital products without having to know to code one biggest problem that a lot of us might face being a non technical people is like i have ideas but i'm not able to convert those ideas into products and basically productize it because whenever you want to sell something or make money some uh, out of something you need to be able to package it properly to create a sort of a uh, offering to your customers right uh, to do that you need to build something so no code makes it simple for you in this video we are going to look at more things about no code and how you can learn no code and how you can take your first baby steps into no code development so uh, with that i want to introduce you to this thread that i wrote on twitter long time ago in 2021 so i wrote a thread about everything no code tips tools resources a thread i wish i came across while starting my own no code journey putting out everything that i learned about no code in a, in my self taught journey by building 15 plus no code products for myself and the organizations that i worked for so firstly what is no code right uh, the definition of no code in a practical sense is really simple no code is a visual programming right where you define logic by dragging and dropping blocks which are like lego blocks to build your product you correct a set of no code tools that work in tandem to perform the desired outcome right so if you have a car you have a car that's running on the road you have each and every part the tires the bumper of uh, the engine the seats the decor everything performing its own thing be uh, creating this cohesive experience of a car the same way in in websites you have different sort of components you have a like component you have a, a field component you have image component gallery component list view component gallery view component you have details component and you have everything right you create with code and just use these components across you just use code to basically attach these components which are pre built right even if you uh, if you know a couple of coders or if you know coders who work in your team you always know that there is a lot of code reuse that happens so it's not like everything is written from scratch so it's like uh, you take a code uh, which is already written you basically stitch it together and use it at multiple places and things like that so uh, the glue that is used to basically uh bring these code snippets together we need to write some code in between so that these components interact with each other so that thing is also automated using visual programming right so that is no code uh so you have a, a graphic here which uh, shares about no code uh, and traditional development so you might wonder ki what is low code um, so i'll just try to clear the air here so you have three types of uh, development you have no code no code you have low code and you have code so the thing is like in low code you drag and drop but if you need customizations if you need to do something that's not possible by the platform you can add additional code to basically give that sort of a uh, basically customization and agility uh, to to perform as you want so you can have multiple integrations lot of different things if it is no code there is zero code you don't you can build any uh, whatever you want that the platform supports without code if it is low code you need to know certain things about code but 90% of the things can be built without code 
and in code it's you know understand you understand what it is so you can go through it i won't go deeper into this you can just pause the web uh, uh, video and go through all the features and the differentiations so let's go ahead so uh there's one video uh, about the future of development right uh, it's a it's on no code by uh, basically gary tan uh, he's a investor who runs his own vc fund uh, so he has written about the future of no code and how you can how you should start thinking about it as organizations so uh, you can definitely check this video out uh, as a second pointer like you need to know uh what the perspective of the thought leaders in the industry is and how they think about it right with this i'll just add one more thing here uh there are a lot of startups that use no code uh there are very successful companies who have basically been able to do a lot of things with no code i'll just take one example here which is lambda school lambda school is a income share agreement based a uh, digital learning platform it's like an online school where you go and register yourself uh, and they give you a course and when you complete the course when you get play, placed you you pay a percentage of your salary for the next x years is what their revenue model or the business model is so they are uh, they have a annual revenue of like 89 million dollars uh, in 2022 uh, so uh what i want to share here is like lambda school raised their first funding with a no code tool they were valued at 5 6 million dollars uh when their whole product was built without code and everything was built with no code so that's the kind of power uh, that no code brings you can build your mvp to be able to raise money uh we raise real vc money uh, uh with with a no code product uh and then go about building a code with product with high customizations as you build uh as you hit the ceiling uh, no code can take you a couple of thousands of users without any issue which is quite enough for you to raise your funding and get the initial product market fit right so let's get back into the thread uh and then uh f- the first thing um anything you learn you should learn by doing is the philosophy of mind so i have this crash course for you now uh, which you can use to build your own portfolio website using notion uh, and basically create your first no code project so uh, also uh, there's one tip if you are a student in college you can use your educational email to get notions uh, uh, educational plan, plan for free and this is a video uh, this is a great video by vensi Uh, you can create a personal website in just 20 minutes i recommend you to go to this video all the links for this thread uh, uh link to this thread will be in the description so you can go through it and go through the whole thread and get the links there next so now we know what no code is we understood the future of no code from gary tan now we also learned how to create a portfolio website in just 20 minutes hopefully you spent an hour with uh, fiddling around notion and be able to create some sort of a website of yours using no code the first product of yours uh, give yourself a pat on your back uh, and the next one uh, we are talking about is a webflow course by chetan uh, so the webflow webflow course is all about learning webflow right building using webflow uh, so it's a playlist webflow is also a no code tool uh, it has all its own content management system and you can build beautiful websites uh, with webflow uh, but if you have heavy backend uh, like a social media app or something of that sort you might not be able to build with webflow but if your product is like a landing page uh, then there are some forms um, and there are blogs uh and everything you can build it using webflow one great trend that i have seen uh in webflow is like there are a lot of people what they're trying to do is like a lot of companies are building their customer facing landing pages using webflow and they um, have their platform on app.domainname.com and the landing page is through webflow and after the call to action they take them to a different subdomain where their whole app is hosted so this sort of gives uh, these people an agility to create change and experiment what is shown on the customer landing pages 
right so this is a great uh, playlist uh, which you can go through and learn webflow from uh, it's a great tutorial it's a 12 part tut uh, tutorial and you will learn everything about building websites through webflow right so next uh, so next um, it's always good to also have some case studies right learn about what other no code developers what are the people who have built with no code have to say and how they have built it their experiences and things like that so uh, this walkthroughs uh, is by no code loco uh, and there are three four uh, people who have built no code apps uh, and being able to monetize them and the, these have like complete uh, interviews with them so you can go through them to understand all about that um, so next uh, there is a tool known as softer uh, quite interesting tool uh, you get to learn a lot uh, from that tool you have built my first couple of side projects using uh, softer so softer has its own uh, tutorials website if you start you if you learn softer uh, uh, no code uh, you you can basically come here and you can see different sort of things how to create a paid member only course on a table web app a paid member only course on web table create first website uh, how to build custom forms you have a lot of uh, resources here which you can check out uh, and then you have this uh, no code discovery course by no code loco uh, quite interesting course i'll just try to show you uh, what it has got to offer um, this is a free course uh, you will get like oh, complete understanding about kickstarting your no code journey and a lot of uh, case studies a lot of cheat sheets a lot of books ebooks and all kinds of things yeah uh, let's go ahead and uh, uh, this is a no code cheat sheet uh, which you can uh, go through uh, this cheat sheet has a lot of beginner friendly tools and uh, there's a podcast and this is a great resource that you can just explore um, and then we have uh, a list of platforms courses guides and there's a no code another no code resource uh, which has like a, a collection which you can just go through and uh, there are quite some good uh, resources here as well and then you have 300 uh, 2000 plus no code tools in this uh, website which are listed and e the use of each of the tool is also listed here you can just click on see all and you can get all these categories and you can go into like each of these categories and find like no code tools which can do these specific things you have no code tools for ar vr payments podcasting uh, forms emails and whatnot right so you can explore all that here so uh, next best tool for no code makers uh, again a tools resource i am not going over it again uh, you have again no code resources uh, here uh, you have a community uh, known as makers guild there's a community which you can explore which is here uh, you can check it out and there's an ebook uh, by webflow the about the no code revolution which would give you an insight if you are a reading person you can check this out as well um, then you have a podcast build in public it's uh, focused on people building these digital products which would give you a fair bit of understanding about how to build uh, and how to build using no code uh, there are some fellowships there are some code based courses uh, which i have found out from the community and people seem to like it and there is a resource on finding no code jobs there are some platforms for that um and yeah so uh, this has been something that i wrote long back uh, on no code and when i created a video my previous video a bunch of people like asked to make a video on no code because i stressed about no code a lot in my side projects video uh, so they asked uh, you folks asked me to make it and here you go uh, i've made this we have gone gone through quite some things i'll link this whole thread in the description of this video just go through it uh just fiddle it fiddle around with it just try to learn what no code is and it's always good to uh keep pace with what's happening in the industry 
no code is a very new thing that uh, that a lot of fast paced startups are picking on um and introducing it in their products and getting that sort of a speed in their product building sort of a uh sprints and things like that they are doing so i hope you find this video useful do like comment share this video in case you find it useful and yeah subscribe to this channel for more such videos and i will see you in the next one